So far, we covered most of the features on the histogram, basic, tone curve, HSR color, black and white, and split toning, but we still have four panels here at the bottom, which I'm going to talk about in this topic because I usually refer to these as additional corrections and effects. Let's start first with detail panel, where I would like to show first the noise reduction features. As you can see on the detail, we have sharpening and noise reduction, and we have a preview of a 100% zoom ratio, just to see the details even more. And you can always set this point by clicking on this little icon and then click somewhere on the image. What I'm going to use now is like this part of the image. So first, let's see noise reduction. As you can see, we have luminance, color and detail options here. And as soon as we start to introduce luminance noise reduction, we also have detail and contrast, especially for the luminance feature. I'm going to click on the image as well, just to see another view of what we are doing. And let me show you only with these changes before and after. So this was before, and this is after. Already much better, but we can get rid of more color noise by increasing the color noise reduction option. And now let's see before and after. Once again, I turn it off and then I turn it on again. So as you can see in Lightroom, we can get rid of the noise, but still have nice details so we won't lose much of the sharpness of the image. If you feel like you're losing sharpness, you can always add a bit more sharpening. But be careful, you have to balance sharpening and noise reduction out because sharpening will introduce more noise. So that's why we have them both in the detail panel because we always have to balance these two options out. So just to wrap up the noise reduction, you have to always focus on two properties of the noise, whether it's made of luminance or color. Let me show you another example. In this image, if I zoom closer, you can see we have a lot of noise, but this is mainly luminance noise because I can't really see much variation in colors. This will mainly be luminance noise. So as soon as I start to introduce noise, uh, the luminance noise reduction, I already get a much better image. By increasing the color noise reduction, I don't really see much difference. So I can reduce the color noise reduction and just use luminance noise re reduction a little bit more. Maybe I can increase color noise reduction as well, just up to a minimum value. The detail option is once again just to balance out the noise reduction because we are losing sharpness. So if I increase the detail, I can enhance the sharpness but at the same time, still keep the noise reduced. The same for color noise reduction as well. If I increase that, that will again add more sharpness, but still keeping the image without noise. I don't want to use these on the maximum uh, value, so I just reduce them a bit down, and I will keep them somewhere in the middle. It's always good to zoom in closer to the image, because if you look at it from a distance, you might not see these details. So let me now just uh, zoom closer to, the, to another part of the photograph. And if I turn the detail options off, this was before and this is after. So you can see you can achieve great results with the noise reduction if you use them properly. In the next video, I'm going to show you the other part of the detail panel, the sharpening features.